Yeah, man, but anyway, I went out. To, to make a long story short, man, um, I respect King B's the decision, man. You know, when I got that kite, because one thing, you know, you, you know, I can take things the wrong way, I can take the right way. Um, I became a shock holler because I was told that I would make the right decision. You know what I'm saying? D-Lo is a hard sacrifice for me, man. Hey. Hey. Hell no, man. Hell no. I can't lose D-Lo to this. No. Come on, man. Can we just violate him? Nah. We gotta go, go. Violation wasn't good enough for Beasley, man. Beasley said he had to go. He can't be over here. God damn, be my... Jesus. And he basically, road dog. and when he said he wanted him to go, he just wanted him off y'all block. No, nah, he wanted him gone. Off the unit. Off the period. unit, period. Yeah, the whole shebang. Care flight. Care flight. Hey, if you gonna get him out of here, person, he gotta go. If y'all don't do it, we gonna do it. Yeah, that was automatically understood. Uh, you know, that was that was the whole, without him even saying it. Yeah. That's what that mean, when a nigga write you and say he gotta go, I mean, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't to say no more. Niggas know what comes with he gotta go. That same way if I told him to say, man, you see, blood right there, he gotta go, man. He gotta go shit, 24 hours. I was always, my, my rule, this is mine, you know, I was hooked on the sun, 48, first 48. So I always gave nigga 48 hours to get that motherfucking ass from over here, you hear me? First 48, or we gonna put you on the first 48, nigga? That's what I used to say all the time. King B was on some goddamn me, uh, right now shit, gotta go. Uh, see, I'm not gonna respond. Give me a little time, King B. Let me buy some time. Well, I knew time was one thing King B didn't have, but don't have. <laughs> time is something we got, but we don't have. As in, I don't even wanna see the nigga face walk down the hall no more. I don't want to pass by this nigga no more. I don't want to hear him on a block, sitting on a bench, or nothing. I wasn't gone. Oh, shit. And I knew that. That what he got to go mean. I ran to d low man, pulled him to the side, man, and ran my game to him, man. Be home, I love you. Take care of yourself. <laughs> um. <clears throat> I ain't going to let nothing happen to you. But what I want you to do is go in and pack your shit, man. Go tell the people you can't come back down to the block, man. Hey. What? Yeah, man. You gotta go, bro. Yeah. You either go, man, it's gonna cost us a whole war over here, man. Between what you just did to that young blood nigga, man. And that was King B. Right hand man. You my right hand man, but bro, you was out of line. Now, I know what side I stand on with this creeper. But I know what side I stand on when it comes to justice, too. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to risk a bunch of crip niggas' lives, because that's what it's going to get to. They going to go get them blood niggas and go get them chopsticks. They going to blow holes out in your ass next time they see you, D-Lo. I ain't going to let them do you like that. Because if they blow holes in you, you know, I, I come with you. You know what I'm saying? You know. I'm not gonna put my life in danger behind your jacket and your dick around her and you fell in love with one of these hoes on the young line of me, nigga. So, um. Hmm. Well, salute. Yeah. Matter of fact, don't even worry about your shit. Just don't come back down the hall, cuz. It was that bad. It was that yeah. gangster. Yeah. Don't come back. Now, you can buck me and think I'm bullshitting and, and take your chance and go down there and get your own stuff. I'm, I, I'm going to tell you one time, you know what I'm saying? And that, that goes against my word and, and King B because we're going to get you before we let the bloods do. Uh, we need that $100. <laughs> 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 no, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm stop. Nah, leave that. Yeah. yeah I'm just saying, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, though. Yeah. You know, shit. Uh, and it's not about the money. <laughs> yeah. It's principle. It's facts. It's about respect. You know, d -Lo was gone, but then... And y'all might think I'm playing the bullshit, but the only person gonna answer this question is King B. When King B sent me that kite, d -Lo was gone within an hour. 
off the unit. Off, don't ship. You you told but you you know you you said this. You said D Lo got shipped off the unit for jacking off, but you never went into detail about it. That was it. You right about that. You right. You show sure right. You show sure right. And I always wondered. I'm like, how did he get shipped off the unit? Yep, he got shipped off. You right about that. You right about that. Because Ferguson had raised D Lo. D Lo had been on Ferguson almost 12, 13 years. Yeah, the system had raised him over there. <clears throat> D Lo been on since he was a kid. But um. Yeah, that what got D-Lo shipped. D-Lo jumped a young nigga, man, over a female, man, broke the young nigga jaw, man. The blood nigga was on zero time. D-Lo had to go. I got the kite, and D-Lo had to go. I had already violated my homeboy once behind that shit. He had, he had already went through a violation. You know what I'm saying? Goddamn, D-Lo, and I already know. Shit, if he feel like he can handle the violation, he probably feel like he can get away with it again. The nigga wasn't stopping. Yeah. He kept going. Even after that was after the violation. You hear what I'm saying? Uh. But D Lo ends up gone, man, and King B, man. Me and King B still ends up being partners. You know what I'm saying? Even when I call King B over there and say I want to look at you know the partner drama one time. You know, everything, all type yeah. I remember when you said all that. All type of shit was going down. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh Little friendly, you say right, you just right, want to get right, something. Um, little. I had still from a crib, man, I had a blood nigga, I told y'all one time, man, he tried to itch me out on Ferguson. Yeah. Yeah, blood nigga called me outside and you know, I tried to tell blood nigga some real shit and um, King B them seen through it. But I can't believe when I never forget. When I went outside, I never forget King B said, man, I can't believe man, you know. And he had that smile on his face. And King B was smiling and I wouldn't. We went out there to the table and King B said, um, yeah man, goddamn man, I can't believe, come on, I can't believe what my ears are here, man. Can't believe what my ears are here, man. I'm like, what's up, nigga, excuse me. I'm like, what's up? You know, you know, that shit ain't for me and you can't be. Nigga, I know the smile. You hear me? Yeah, yeah, nigga, I can't believe what my ears telling me, man. Nigga, nigga said you're talking down on a nigga, man. I said, what you say, King B? What nigga told you that? Then I turn around and look. It was a nigga from my own city, an e P nigga. Eastwood Power Root nigga off a, off a hatchet block. Yeah, nigga, you know who you is. Blood nigga off a hatchet block. Nigga, what Moody Ray, nigga? Yeah, and that nigga right there was from Fort Worth, so I tried to pull the nigga car and let him know, cuz, you know, these niggas over here fighting, bro, don't get yourself caught up in a lot of shit. As a man, as an Eastwood nigga, and I don't know gang shit, I let him know, nigga, you come over and start fighting with these niggas, we gonna have you out there scratching all motherfucking day like you a dog on a motherfucking leash, nigga. Come over here, do your time, you a big nigga, healthy nigga, sit back, do your time. He went back and told the blood niggas I was talking down on him. He went back and told the blood niggas that I told them they gonna use him for a crash dummy. He went back and told the blood niggas, I said they were going to have, he told the black, crack, blood niggas what I told him. As a man, when he got there, not as a beat starting no shit, but he took it and went and told the, the beehive. Um, we got out there um, to the wreck yard, when King B approached me on the wreck yard, he was like, damn, man. No, he told us to meet up outside. And I had, I, had, I, had, I, had, I had an army with me, I had a nice team with me, and yeah, we was out there right. You understand me? Uh, but we didn't need all the publicity, man, because the shit, because the beehive came as usual. They came real nice, too. When King B come out there, goddamn me, uh, they coming. Shit, they coming. Ain't no motherfucking doubt about it. Goddamn the ones, and the ones that ain't on the block, they in they cells looking out the window. Goddamn all the blood, they, they know what's going on. Trying to see what's going to jump out. Uh, so what's going on, man? You know, t tell me it ain't true. With my ears here, man. And I'm like, what's up? Nigga said, you in there talking down. What nigga told you that? He had the nigga with him. I turned around and looked. It was, the, it, was, it was the crib nigga. I mean, it was the blood nigga from Fort Worth. That I was trying to put on game. Yeah. You understand me? I'm like, what? He said, I told you what? You told me, man, them niggas was going to be doing this. And these niggas said they was going to do this. Nigga, you nigga over here. Now, look at that nigga. And I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm going to be the honest nigga. I ain't going to never make myself look. I denied everything that nigga said. Said nigga, I ain't told you shit. That's what I said. Yeah. Uh, I, I ain't tell you that nigga. I ain't tell you nothing, nigga. Nigga, big B said, you tell, you tell him nigga out? Nah, cause I ain't tell nigga shit like that. Let me tell y'all something. As a real nigga, but easy, believe me. <laughs> I'm just being honest. You know what I'm saying? Me and him been rocking too long. And I ain't tell that nigga that. You understand me? But you know, I denied it, not out of fear. I denied it because there was a chess move to make. 
That was a chess move. I know if you nigga, this nigga gonna rock with me, cause I ain't, what nigga? Cause my thing is this. If you lying, you took, you took the right I tried to give you and tried to fuck over me as a real nigga. I tried to pull your coattail. If I just get to the penitentiary, Diamond, you walk up on me, you been here long enough. You know what I'm saying? I'm not on your side, I'm out, but I'm from Fort Worth. I'm a real nigga from Fort Worth. You know, you think I'm a real nigga. So you come and you pull my coattail. Say, look, I love him. You just got here with you. Uh, I'm Crip. Well, I'm a blood nigga. Let me, come here, let me tell you. Fort Worth? Yeah, we're Eastwood. I'm from Eastwood too, brother. Say, let me tell you what's going on over here, man. Don't get yourself caught up in here. There's a lot of fighting going on over here, man. Once these niggas start, don't let these niggas play you. Be a man. Make your own decision. Make your own call. Don't let a nigga have you out here doing this, doing that. Just do what you gotta do to survive and get out the way, man. You understand me? But I go back and say, oh man, y'all know that old crab ass nigga over there? Crab ass nigga over there talking about, man, the dogs gonna have me over the dogs blood. Nigga be like, what? Who? Who said all that? Who gonna have you? Yeah. You took that and you, so I went out there and I said to myself, you know what? I deny what he's saying, so we can get it. That's a chess move. That was the chess move. B asked me, did I do that? Nah, I didn't do that again, B. I said, so, so can we have, then they lied on me, cuz, so can we have, can, can I have him? For lying? Yeah. Since you, since you wanted some mess, since you thought I wasn't nobody, cause you didn't know what part, you didn't know what part I played on the unit. Mm. You no, know, see, you the new nigga. You just sit around and pay attention. You let your mouth come in there and talk. You didn't come in there looking and listening, seeing what's going on. You know, you just came in there doing that a lot of talking. And you continue to do a lot of talking. Yeah. But I'm gonna let him know, nigga, this is where the talking in on the wreck yard. We on the wreck yard now. Now you said I said what? And then the nigga went back the next day and went to the field and told P Shoe and them a whole. They came in from the field the next day, wanted to fight P Shoe and everybody wanted to jump me when I came in. Crip nigga. Become some of the same, same motherfucker said, shout out to J Rock. Shout out to my blood nigga J Rock that was on G, but shout out to J Rock, man. Shout out to Eastwood, shout out to blood nigga Power Root J Rock, man, from Fort Worth, Texas, man. I ain't gonna forget you, J Rock. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, J Rock, you know who that blood nigga was. You know who that blood nigga was, called himself Eastwood. Not, 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 not a little bright pot in Eastwood, the other tall, dark ass bitch nigga. Yeah, that Eastwood. Anyway, uh. J Rock was in the day room. The J room was straight up that day. They came in from the field. Niggas was coming in. I'm looking. I'm on back bench looking. Like somebody's finna get it. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that somebody was supposed to be me. Niggas always plotted the plan to get me. Man, I'll tell you something. I stood up. I stood up for myself more than any nigga. Let me tell you something that stood up for me. And I say that again. I stood up for my motherfucking self more than any nigga ever had to stand up for me. Right. Cause if it was up to them niggas, they'll watch me perish, they'll watch niggas fuck me out. Cause guess what? Once I'm gone, they can go back to being bitch niggas. Long as I'm there, nigga, you gotta keep keep your head up and your chest out, nigga. We ain't, we ain't doing no tail tucking over here. But they know if they let these niggas get me, cause we can go back to shit. Me ain't no doing this, man doing that. That nigga gone. By the time that nigga gone, nigga want shit no way. Nigga whole head nigga anyway. That nigga, I whooped that nigga. You know, it's everything that you would have done once, yeah. once somebody else do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When that nigga came in the day room and my partner, I said, what's going on now, man? They said, man, the nigga said that you was out there saying this. I said, what nigga? Same blood nigga. From Fort Worth. Well, this is the day, nigga, you die. You already had a strike out there on the rick, y'all. When you told the blood niggas that. Then you come in here, you still gossip, you still running your mouth. You guess you think, and then you on the other side. I'm gonna show you what we do to the other side, niggas. I take off on a nigga, bap, 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 in the day room. Everybody like, well, hold on, hold on. And he, he a blood. Mm. He a blood. I take off on him in the day room. He came in there, and them niggas sitting there, peace shoe, king shoe, sitting right there, the rest of the niggas, sitting right there. This nigga said what he gonna say. I take off. I get about two good ones in, three three good ones in. Then they like, hold on, hold on, person, come on now, now, nigga. Nigga, I'm tired of this nigga right here running. He running this motherfucking man. I got my name in this man. Let's go. Now, this nigga a giant. This nigga heavyweight. This nigga square bin. This nigga, he a square. Yeah, let's go though. Nigga, let's run that. Yeah. Nigga, I'm square bin. I already see you niggas trying to plot on me. You niggas went to the wreck yard last night with this shit. Now here it is. The field hand, the field ball, the field squad that came in. It's some more shit in the earth. This time it's for some of my own crib nigga. That's rocking with the blood nigga. I'ma tell you something. There was a lot of crib niggas wanted to see me took out of my position too. Besides the blood niggas. 
Now, I'm tell you something, blood niggas really had no problem with me. Nigga, them niggas knew I was a stand-up nigga. They knew I was a square square business. Every time King B see me make a move, he wink his eye, be like, all right. You know, me, me and King B didn't talk every day, but we talked every day. You hear me? <laughs> we didn't talk every day, but we talked every day. Uh, I got love for that nigga, man. He came home, man. Uh, B's got himself caught up in the cell phone. You fuck with them phones over there, man. Yeah. Fuck with them phones, goddamn, because you got the money. You got money, you can fuck with phones. Fuck yeah. With them, I, I always seen a nigga with a motherfucking jaw full of tobacco. Yeah. I'm like, geez, what the fuck are you doing? Man? There you go. He's sitting there talking. Yeah. You know. I always had that motherfucking chew in his mouth. I'm like, nigga. Don't no niggas do no shit like that. Yeah. You know, she over here, nigga, this shit like crack. Yeah. What's like crack? Chewing tobacco? How the fuck is chewing tobacco like crack? I'd rather have a cigarette. But I didn't do no drug. Can't be anybody to tell you on first. Person never snorted a, a, a line. Person never did a, a dip of tobacco. Person never smoked a cigarette. Yeah, person didn't drink coffee. Yeah. Shit, nigga, person was a natural. Uh, square business motherfucking nigga. Yeah. Understand me? Stayed on my motherfucking gangster shit. Uh, with that, no mind article chemicals on my motherfucking mind. Nothing. Uh, King B caught a cell phone case, man, got shipped out the unit. He was gone, man. It was a wrap. King B was out. Damn. The, the beehive was, you know, uh, looking for another Queen B. Bars. <laughs> anyway, looking for another King B. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Chad was the only thing I think that was stiff after that. Chad was a good, good blood member. Uh, Barlow's, he was square business over there on the blood side. And the blood nigga that never, never went nowhere was Bo. Nara Street, notorious Bo, man. Me and Lil Bo, man. Uh, me and Bo bumped heads in the, in the room one time when, uh, when, it, when his partner said he wanted to look at every crip nigga with BK on. And Bo jumped up and wanted to take up and you know, say, President, what's going on? And Bo, that's the first time Bo seen me ever go into crip mode. And I told him, this BK on every motherfucker in this motherfucking day room. What's up, niggas? What's up, nigga? What's up? And that was, it was hurt my feelings because me and Bo fucked around every day. Bo was a cool nigga. Bo was an ins inspiration to me. Bo, they call him Bo, that motherfucker built like a little motherfucking short bulldog. Big, no nigga, no motherfucker pump all the weights on the goddamn bitch. And put you on top of that motherfucking lift. Bo been there for a while. And when me and Bo had to cross paths, um, you know what I'm saying, behind another nigga on some bullshit. Yeah. And then the next day I never get nigga Bo looked at me and said, boy, <laughs> shit. I ain't never seen you like that, nigga. I'm sorry, Bo. <laughs> I had to apologize to my partner Bo. You no, know, because you know it wasn't about Bo. Yeah. You know what I'm but I just can't forget that I'm a crip. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I know what side I'm on when it get gangster. Yeah. And it got gangster and my, my energy had to turn to towards everybody in the day room. Uh, that's when the King B, you know, I was hoping to see King B. I heard King B got shipped over to the Turrell unit. Uh, where when my, he ran into my son, he said he was on Turrell unit. Uh, he heard a nigga yell out person. He turned around and he said he thought it was me. He told me that about like an hour or something ago. And uh, it turned out to be my son. Uh, Terry Lynn, shout out to Terry Lynn. Terry Lynn was on that Turrell unit with my son, little Percy too. Stop six, T. Lee. Yeah, t stop six, T. Lee, man. Stop, stop six, Terry Lynn, man. Square business. Uh, uh. I, I had a chance to meet you, but I didn't have a chance to chop it up with you, man. King Beasley told me to let you know, Terry Lynn, what's popping. You understand me? Yeah. Let you know, forward Terry Lynn, Terrell Young, King Beasley said, what's up, man? Uh, so you get that information, man. Uh, We're going to link you niggas together. One day on this diamond stone, boy, let this shit come to life for real. Yeah. Some real blood niggas. It wasn't all about Crips on, on Ferguson. It, 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 some, they got some bloody tales, too. Yeah. Yeah, they got some bloody, and them niggas can tell some tales. What? King B is, King, King B is a natural. Yeah. Now, he, you know, real talk, he's a natural. When his mouthpiece start rolling, he's a natural. He ain't gonna miss a beat. And I, I'd rather for him to get that stay on blood off Ferguson. Off blood. It, 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 no, no higher, no higher B than him. You hear me? No, no higher B over there, and he was square business. And he was square business. Uh, I was sitting here one day, and uh, I never forget. I heard some bass outside my motherfucking driveway. Right. Booming like a motherfucker, and nigga, and nigga called me on a motherfucking house phone. I pick up the house phone, and nigga said, "Hey, baby, what's up, baby?" I'm like, man, what the fuck is this? 
And he said, come on, man, goddamn, goddamn, I ain't been gone that goddamn long, man. If you think goddamn me not working out, nigga, what's so, up, so, so, so. nigga Beasley with that fast talk. I'm like, Beasley? Yeah, nigga, what's up? Nigga, still up getting them goddamn hot ass phones. You ain't learned yet about them phones. I said, man, hold on, man. Somebody outside, my motherfucking house, basically, too hard. I go outside, goddamn me. And it's Beasley and Drummer sitting in my driveway. I'm like, what the fuck? Beasley? Drummer? Them niggas pulled up all the way from H Town, man. He said, I just dropped your son out. Yeah. He came down, he seen little person. The little person was there at the time. Uh. He said, I just dropped your son out on that side, man. He was goddamn me. When that nigga got the goddamn car, shit. Yeah, he, he said, he told me where you stayed there. I came over and fuck with his daddy, man. Uh. He pulled up on me, man. And these just sit there, we chopped it up. And we took a block, made a block. And he got drama with him. His motherfucker drama, you out too? Shit. Didn't he want to take me out on town and go do this? No, 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 no. Now, niggas, you niggas ain't finna get me. I'm not going out with now. What are you niggas? Now, I, I, I don't know what this video is about, but I love both of y'all. And I'm gonna keep it right here. Goddamn me, uh. The King B turned out to be the truth, man. Uh, I'm glad to see you still free. Right. You ain't locked up nowhere in these cages like the ones, you know, niggas that came and gone went right back, man. A lot of these niggas that came and went right back like it wasn't nothing. You know what I'm saying, man? Shout out to the ones that get out here and know how to maintain and all that incarceration do them in, man. Shout out to the ones that's been out here, goddamn, be fighting the struggle. It's more of a struggle out here than it is in there. Uh, it's the same institution out here, y'all. You can end up in all type of shit in here, out here in this world, like you can out there in that penitentiary, man. So, uh, y'all keep y'all heads up out here, man. And I got much love for the ones that stay out more. Don't bump your head and go right back, y'all. OG Percy been here going, I will make 11 years, man. And uh, for y'all tuning into these Diamond Stone TV, I think we got four more episodes, man. We have 100 videos, man. Y'all got to yeah. shout out to this. <laughs> yeah. Real tough, we'll be at 100. A Tales from the Crips, man. <laughs>